Hey guys, what's going on? This is Rob here, and in this video I'm going to show you how to run Hyper-V 2012 from a USB flash drive. The first step is to extract the compressed archive. Once extracted, we will be doing everything else using the command prompt. Open up your command prompt and make sure to run it as administrator. Create a directory on the root of your hard drive named HVVHD. This is the directory where our virtual hard disk for Hyper-V will reside before we copy it to the USB drive. Now run disk part and type the following. Create vdisk file equals C drive hv vhd hyperv dot vhd maximum equals one two two eight eight type equals fixed and then select v disk file equals C drive HV VHD Hyper V dot VHD. And then attach VDisk. Create partition primary. Assign letter equals R. Format quick, fs equals ntfs, label equals Hyper-V, and then exit. Now we need to apply the Hyper-V 2012 image to our virtual disk. First we need to ensure that we are in the correct folder from within the command prompt. So right click the Hyper-V to USB folder and look at the path. Now let's go back to the command prompt and navigate to that path and then go one more directory up to the Hyper-V to USB folder. Once you have done that and are sure you are in the correct directory, you will want to type image x slash apply install.wim1 R drive. This may take a while, so be patient. Now we need to prepare our USB drive so we can copy the virtual hard disk we just created to it. First, let's detach the virtual hard disk from the system. Again, run disk part and then type select vdisk file equals c drive hv vhd hyperv dot vhd and then detach vdisk. If you haven't already, insert your USB flash drive. Make sure it is at least 16 gigabytes. Now, in disk part, type list disk. Find the disk, the disk number that corresponds to your USB drive and type select disk and then that number that matches the USB disk on your computer. Now you want to type the following. Clean. Create partition primary. Select partition 1, active, format quick, fs equals ntfs,
assign letter equals Z, and then exit. The USB drive is now ready, so go ahead and copy hyperv.vhd over to it. This will take some time. Okay, so now we need to update the master boot code on the USB flash drive. So make sure you're still in that same directory with all of the tools that you need uh, inside of it. And then uh, type bootsect slash nt60 z drive slash force slash mbr. Okay, we're almost done. But first, we need to create the BCD store on the VHD that is now located on the flash drive. So again, let's run disk part. Uh, we want to mount the VHD. However, we will not be mounting it. Um, uh, we, uh, we will be mounting it from the flash drive this time. We will not be mounting it from the C drive HV VHD. So in disk part, this time you want to type uh, select VDisk file equals Z drive hyperv.vhd. And then attach vdisk and then exit. Okay, so now we can use bcd boot to create the bcd store. So type bcd boot r drive windows slash s z drive. Uh, this next step is technically optional, however, I highly recommend it uh, due to um, reduced wear on the flash drive. So uh, you might want to disable paging. And if you want to, you can do that now by just plugging in the registry key uh, since we already have that uh, VDisk still attached. So uh, these are kind of, a, these are, even though I typed them out, um, there are a lot of commands. So I'm going to make this easier by uh, just posting this uh, in the description uh, below so you can just copy and paste this uh, copy and paste it into uh, the command prompt on your computer and uh, that's pretty much it so once once you get done um, with these uh, with the uh, registry keys for the paging um, you want to run disk part one last time to uh, detach the vdisk and then uh, it's time to test it out So let's go ahead and test it out to make sure that it works. I'm going to pull the USB flash drive out and then plug it into one of my uh, my new servers right now. Into this old Dell Power Edge 2950. So of course the first time I'm going to boot off the flash drive manually uh, and then if this all turns out uh, the way it's supposed to, 
I would just change the setting in the BIOS to boot off of this automatically and then probably stick it in one of the servers internal USB. Okay. 